Hey, what is up guys? My name is Nate and welcome to my first ever Advanced Warfare DNA Bomb. So if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, you will know that I never play Advanced Warfare. The last time I checked, I had about 60 something hours in the game and probably about three fourths of that was in like the first week it came out. I just honestly don't have very much fun with the game, so I uh, decided not to play it. But for those of you who play on PC, you know that there was actually a free weekend for Advanced Warfare. So of course, my first thought was this is a great opportunity to go for some uh, crazy gameplays. So pretty early on in the day, I think on Saturday, I joined uh, I joined with Cyrex, who's a really, really good Advanced Warfare player. I think he's actually almost the highest prestige once again, even though they added the new prestiges in the game. He has like 400 plus hours in this game, which is just absolutely insane. But anyways, I partied with him and I got into a game and literally this is the first game that we played for the day. If you're curious about the class that I was using, I actually show it in the beginning when I select it. Um, honestly, I wouldn't suggest it because I don't know anything about this game. Unlike Black Ops 2, I don't have, you know, over a thousand hours played in this game. So I haven't used enough classes to know what's good and what's bad. But right now, I want to say that this DNA bomb was extremely lucky. First of all, I would not have gotten this DNA bomb if they didn't increase the TDM kill limit. So if you didn't know, they actually increased the TDM kill limit in Advanced Warfare to uh, 100 kills instead of 75. And if it was still at 75, I wouldn't even came close to it. Also, in the gameplay, you see a lot of spots where I barely get away from death. Um, a lot of the times, I have no idea how I survived. But one in particular I'm actually like in the middle of the map and uh, this guy comes up behind me and misses me a whole bunch of times but I actually jetpack upwards to where he can't shoot me and somehow get away so once again you know if there wasn't jetpacks in the game I would have been dead one thing that I do find funny though is that I never died in the game I actually go flawless which is nothing really to brag about in this gameplay considering uh, the score wasn't really that good like I said I pretty much never play this game I actually made a commentary a long time ago as to why I don't play this game and the main reason is because it doesn't get my heart beating so I don't know if any of you guys are like me but when I go into like nuclear streaks or uh, Moab streaks my heart beats like crazy and I get super excited and it's just so much fun but the entire time that I play advanced warfare that never happened until of course I got this gameplay for this gameplay I was recording with shadow play but I didn't have my microphone in due to the fact that I was just kind of chilling and I had my brother in my room behind me so this entire gameplay my brother was actually sitting behind me watching and when the game finally ended I was actually shaking I was so so nervous that I was gonna die like one off of this DNA bomb a little bit of a spoiler but you see for the 29th kill there's actually a guy like proning on the ground and I was so nervous that I wasn't pulling up my scoreboard so I thought it was the last kill for the DNA bomb so when I went over and killed him and I didn't get the DNA bomb dude I, I probably went completely white I think that kill right there is when I started to get really nervous and shaky because not only was that not the DNA bomb there was only like a few more kills left in the entire game so I knew I'd have to rush around and get the last kill and that's usually when you die when you're going for high kill streaks like this you do not want to be panicked because then of course you make some stupid mistake and lose your streak but I do end up clutching you actually see that the last guy he gets like a couple shots on me which made me freak out but I still managed to get him so now I can happily say that I have achieved the highest kill streak reward in every Call of Duty to be honest this was the most difficult one by far if I had to put it in order from easiest to hardest, it would definitely be the Modern Warfare 2 Nuke, the Modern Warfare 3 Moab, the Ghost KEM Strike, the Black Ops 2 Nuclear, and then of course the Advanced Warfare DNA Bomb. With how chaotic Advanced Warfare is, it's very, very difficult to stay on a good kill streak in this game. People can jetpack across the map in a matter of seconds, so it's really, really hard to just kind of build up a streak. You have people on you pretty much constantly, so you have to play extremely smart, which I feel like I did very well in this game and it uh, ended up paying off. If I could suggest anything on going for DNA bombs in this game, it would definitely be to use your exosuit only when you really need to. I found a lot of the time when I die, it's because I exo boost upwards and then they headshot me and pretty much instant kill me. Or because I'm exo boosting all over the place, I end up running into another enemy or just end up getting stuck in a corner. While staying on the ground rather than exo boosting all over the place, it actually was a lot easier to stay on a good streak. There's a lot less places you can be shot at when you're planted on the ground. Because even when you're exo boosting, you can still be shot from above, but you can also be shot from below. I felt like staying on the ground and engaging in more horizontal gunfights, it was a lot easier to control them. And even though players can thrust left and right in this game, it's a lot slower than the vertical thrust in this game, which shoots you like 15 feet in the air. Also, if you haven't already customized your UAV, more specifically, customize it to where you have pretty much wall hacks. As you can see throughout this gameplay, I can actually see a lot of the people through walls. And that is because I am using threat detection on my UAV. And what this does is it actually gives you 10 seconds after calling in your UAV of pretty much just wall hacks. Actually, it's not even pretty much. You literally have wall hacks. That made it a lot easier to go for this DNA bomb considering I can pretty much predict all of the player's moves. It's like an extremely overpowered VSAT, but it only lasts for 10 seconds. Still, this 
just makes it a lot easier to go on good streaks. But anyways, guys, if you could drop a like on my first ever DNA bomb, it would be uh, much appreciated. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.